Welcome to the Fox Learn. A partial method has its signature defined in one part of a partial type, and its implementation defined in another part of the type. Partial methods enable class designers to provide method hooks, similar to event handlers, that developers may decide to implement or not. If the developer does not supply an implementation, the compiler removes the signature at compile time. Partial methods are especially useful as a way to customize generated code. They allow for a method name and signature to be reserved, so that generated code can call the method but the developer can decide whether to implement the method. Much like partial classes, partial methods enable code created by a code generator and code created by a human developer to work together without runtime costs. A partial method declaration consists of two parts, the definition, and the implementation. These may be in separate parts of a partial class, or in the same part. If there is no implementation declaration, then the compiler optimizes away both the defining declaration and all calls to the method. Partial method declarations must begin with the contextual keyword partial and the method must return void. Partial methods can have ref but not out parameters. Partial methods are implicitly private, and therefore they cannot be virtual. Partial methods cannot be extern, because the presence of the body determines whether they are defining or implementing. Partial methods can have static and unsafe modifiers. Partial methods can be generic. Constraints are put on the defining partial method declaration, and may optionally be repeated on the implementing one. Parameter and type parameter names do not have to be the same in the implementing declaration as in the defining one. You can make a delegate to a partial method that has been defined and implemented, but not to a partial method that has only been defined. The following conditions apply to partial methods. Signatures in both parts of the partial type must match. The method must return void. No access modifiers are allowed. Partial methods are implicitly private. The following example shows a partial method defined in two parts of a partial class.
Thank you for watching this video.